All right, so today we're looking at a couple of speakers from Punk Wolf. At least that's a unique name for a company. But actually, that bigger one I've seen under a name called Rofall for less money, 10 bucks on that one. And then under the Punk Wolf, it's actually it's like 18 to 20. The little one, I think, is around 10 or 12. Anyway, it's the M57K is the big one and the D68. So interestingly enough, the smaller one has a bigger number. But these two turds, we're going to take a look at them. Uh, I call them the Skunk Wolf speakers. But it's hard to really, you know, get on them too much because they are cheap. I mean, you get that bigger one with the lights for 10 bucks. So we're going to see just how bad these things sound. So let's get to it. All right, so both of these speakers have various light modes. That's probably the coolest thing about them, except for the startup and the turn off tones they make. And it's not a good thing when the best thing about your speaker is when you're turning it off. But anyway, we're gonna start with the little one on the, I'll just call them little big, little one on the left at 40%. Here we go. <laughs> Biggin. Little one. Now the big one does have two drivers. These don't have passive radiators, at least not in the back or sides. Right? Little one, or excuse me, big one. Change tracks, we'll go to 60. Little one. Little one. <laughs> Let's go up to 80. The thing's not very loud. I'm only about two and a half, three feet away. That's 80%. Big one. Let's do a bass check. These things sound like they got a lot of bass. Show me what you got, Punk Wolf or Skunk Wolf. This is the big one. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, isn't that impressive? Little one. Vibrate in the house. Big one. Wow. Chase tracks with a max volume. It's gonna blow me out of this room. Little one. Show me what you got, baby. Assault. Go skunky. Biggin. Little one. 
Alright, that's just about all I can stand. So yeah, these these are terrible. Well, I guess you could say call the little one terrible and the bigger one awful, maybe? I don't know. Which what's, what's what's worse, terrible or awful? Or anyway, the big one is not as bad as the little one as you probably would expect. So if you're giving these to a kid or something, you know, like a seven or eight year old kid. You don't let them get. Don't let them get too old. You get them like 10, 10 years old. You give this to them, they're going to be insulted. You might, you might get the stank eye. But yeah, these are not really good speakers at all. But for the price, like I said, if you get that big one for ten bucks, and if you want to give it to somebody you don't really like very much, that might be an option. But I'll show you. What I was talking about the best thing about these speakers is when you turn them on and off, especially the little one. Well, they make the same noise, but I just want the little one off. I like that. That's pretty cool. Watch when you turn it on. Kind of reminded me of the, not the Marshalls, but the, I can't remember there was another one that was af named after an amp company. I can't remember what that was. But anyway, it had a similar kind of like a guitar riff that started and ended. So that's the Punk Wolf speakers, as I like to call them, the Skunk Wolf speakers. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like I said, these are good options to buy as giving gifts to somebody you don't like or somebody that is maybe not coherent enough to know what's going on. Maybe they have really bad hearing and they don't know what sounds good. Or if you got know somebody that really likes that on large party speaker the first version that they really like that this is the speaker to get them in the small handheld version wow what an idea that may not go over too well <laughs> let me know what you guys say in the comments below that's it for these uh skunky speakers like and subscribe subscribe today if you haven't done so do it now it's free cost you nothing and it's worth every bit of that Adiós.